Welcome to White Lecture Online. To get a better understanding of what we mean by the expectation value of a particle in a one-dimensional box, we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous video, but now we're going to have the particle in the second energy level, the first excited state with n equals 2. You can see now that the probability density function looks quite different than it does when n equals 1, but we do also notice that the symmetry is still there, that the curve looks exactly the same on the left side of the box as it does on the right side of the box. So I would expect that the result for the expectation value would again be L over 2 like we did see in the previous video. Well, we're going to work it out and see if that's what we get. So again, to find the expectation value, we multiply x times the probability density function, but in this case, we're going to take it for n equals 2. And so, again, the, the integral looks virtually the same, except the angle now is 2 pi x instead of 1 pi x over L. Again, this is kind of a difficult integral, so we have a, uh, explained how to find that integration right here. So we're going to use the same result as we have over there, of course, instead of A. In this case, we have 2 pi over L. So let's see what that looks like when we integrate this. So this becomes equal to 2 over L times... Well, the first term will be x squared over 4. That's the same. That doesn't change. And then minus x times the sine of twice the angle. And twice this angle will be 4 pi x over L. The whole thing divided by 4 times A. And A being 2 pi over L, that would give us 8 pi over L minus the cosine of twice the angle, or 2 times ax. So 2 times, that would be 4 pi x over l, divided by 8a squared. Now remember that a was 2 pi over l, so square that, that would be 4 pi squared over l squared times 8, or 32 pi squared over l squared. I guess that's the end of that integral, and we integrate from 0 to L across the whole length of the box. Now, again, when we plug in the values, we get 2 over L times, plug in the upper limit, we get L squared over 4. Plug in the upper limit here, we get minus L times the sine of 4 pi L over L divided by 8 pi divided by L, and then minus the cosine of 4 pi L over L divided by 32 pi squared over L squared. Minus when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0 for the first term. Plug in the second term, we get 0 times whatever it is. So that's minus times a minus would be plus 0. And a minus times a minus would be plus. That would be the cosine of 0 divided by 32 pi squared over L squared. Okay, now let's simplify that. Again, when we look over here, since the L's cancel out, we have the sine of 4 pi, well, the sine of 2 pi or 4 pi or 6 pi doesn't make any difference. That will always be 0, so this goes to 0. And that gives you kind of a hint that it doesn't seem to matter whether or not n is equal to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. This term will always go to 0. And likewise, over here, notice that we have the cosine of 4 pi because the L's cancel out. And the cosine of 4 pi is the same as the cosine of 0. The cosine of 6 pi is the same. The cosine of 8 pi is the same. So again, we can see that no matter what the value for n is, and oh, I guess this should also be 2. I didn't correct that. That should be the second energy level, so that should be a 2. So for values of 2, 3, 4, 5, doesn't matter. We will always get the same value here as we have over there. So those two quantities cancel as well which means that no matter what the value for n is, we always end up with just this term times 2 over L, which means it's L divided by 2. So you can see that no matter what, n equals 1, the, the first energy level of the ground state, the, the first excited state, the second excited state, no matter what, the expectation value for the position of a particle is always going to be smack right in the middle because the probability density function of a particle in a one-dimensional box at any energy level will always look symmetric to the left side and the right side of the middle of the box. And that's what we mean by the expectation value of a particle. And that's how it's done.